So I've had a lot of uh, subscribers, followers, investors asking me about the Investors Club. I'll explain it a little further. So this will be a series. I'm going to keep updating you on the progress. Uh, it's important for you to know as, as subscribers who I really value a lot. I don't feel I'm doing justice to every investor, but I need you to understand the progress of events. So the goal behind, so back in 2013, there were five investors. Each had the potential of, uh, let's say, one to five million dirhams. And we used to work as a team. And now in 2013 is when Dubai Real Estate announced escrow accounts. So a lot of developers who had no intention of handing over properties, they ran away. So these five investors used to pick up projects, whole projects, whole buildings, uh, complete the construction, sell it off. So uh, let's suppose if the market price was, uh, say sale price was 1,200 dirham per square foot then, we used to pick it up around 500 dirham per square foot. It used to cost us around 300 dirham per square foot to complete the project. And then we sell, make the profit. Everyone is happy. Now, uh, it's not easy. I mean, it sounds amazing. It sounds awesome. Like, let's go for it. No, it takes time. Now, I'm somebody, see, I've started, I've had companies. It doesn't work. A single person running a company does not work. It will fail or it does not provide quality. Hence, I'm part of a very big group, experienced realty, very, very strong investors, veterans of the market, like-minded people, like a phenomenal community, extremely strong, politically, mentally, financially strong. So that's part one, sorted. That I don't have the stress to run the business. I can take care of my clients. So that was part one, sorted. Then I started talking about products, on YouTube, on Instagram. The client flow jumped. We're looking at 25 to 50 investors a day. Now, I, and of course, everyone's here to make money. I had to unfortunately prioritize, which I didn't want to do. I want to speak to everyone. That's why I've never taken a charge. A lot of many clients were like, what's your consultation free? I'm like, I'm against a fee. I have knowledge, knowledge is to share. I don't want to restrict anyone. There might be, I've, I've literally met billionaires who don't want to share, uh, uh, give a fee until they understand what they're signing up for. And once they understood my knowledge, they were like, okay, fine, whatever you say. So I will never take a fee. I'd rather build a team. So step one, I figured out there's a gap. So I started developing a team of agents. Now, unfortunately, the quality did not transpire. When I started giving to agents, I had investors complaining to me that, oh, okay, this agent tried selling me. Uh, please beep that. <laughs> or beep that as well, please. Can you beep it? Yeah. No, because I've been, I'm literally in trouble for speaking against the wrong developers. So when they sell that, they call me and they're like, so, hey, I know you'll never sell those developers. So, those agents started selling me this and I asked them back. I, I can't fire people. I, so, I figured out I need to develop a system. So, step one, yes, I'm going to build a Zohib.com. All these reports that I make. So, every project, if I'm selling, I have a very detailed report. I'm going to share all the reports. I'm going to make these monthly reports. Like which products do I think make sense? I'm going to make reports based on what my clients tell me. So, I always make these customized reports, right? Based on an invest investor's uh, requirement. So, step one, I'm building a website. Step two, I've already taken up a CRM. I've hired an operations person who really understands the CRM. Step three, I hired a personal uh, assistant. So she will attend all the calls. So it'll be like the SPOC, the first point of contact. The first point of contact is essential, should be extremely professional. Everyone is attended to. She manages my schedule. Uh, soon there'll be a calendar. I'll send you a calendar invite. I attend the Zoom call. And then there's an operations person. Then in next step, I'm gonna hire a few consultants, but I need to find the right consultants. I'm ready to pay top dollar for the right consultant, not a commission agent. Because I tried commission agents, they, their, their interests are vested towards the commissions. Now, these big names, these big developers pay high commissions. Ema pays the lowest commission in the market. So, um, for me, it's product driven, right? The product 
should make money. The investor should make money. So uh, I'm going to hire consultants who are not linked with commissions at all, who I will train over a period of time. It'll take at least three months for me there to train them. Once I have a team of trained consultants, so this is that initial skeleton that's required for a club where everything is organized. Then once my investors start making money, they complete the first cycle, they've made money. And then I sit down with them. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to form a group. And then we approach developers on day one. See, in every launch, there's probably maximum of 50 to 60 really good products. I want to pick them all. Then I have Monopoly. So in 2013, I picked up 10 plots in JVC at 75 dirham per square foot. Then I kept calling uh, brokers and saying, okay, I need more plots. I need more plots. There was no supply. Demand increased. Prices increased. If I have the best stock of every product in the market, Cause I'll have monopoly. So me and my investors, we're going to take maximum advantage. We don't go with every product, chosen products, best units, best developers, best locations. We'll have the best Airbnb. So these are the next steps. What you can expect from, from this channel, from this community, this investors community. Our next step will be, I'm already speaking to a few investors from the UK, villa refurbishment. So we'll pick up villas on the palm, We'll refurbish and sell them. Similarly, in Emirates Hills, uh, Meadows Springs. So there's Palm, Jumeirah, there's Emirates Hills, Meadows Springs. The villas have become really dated. When you upgrade them, you refurbish them, you stage the property, the price just goes off the roof. You'll be surprised. I've seen a 25 million villa selling for 50 million dirhams just with the right team refurbishing them. So I'm using, I'm hiring, a, not hiring, partnering with the team from the UK for this partnering with some team from Australia as well. We don't know who it's going to finalize, but we are working on this. That's one project. Second project I'm working on is an Airbnb. But again, it has to be professional from the UK, European standards, where quality, you know, we give the best to the guests, you know, they know it's a brand. They know, okay, if I use Z apartments or Z holiday stay, it's, uh, it's going to be phenomenal. The service is going to be premium. You know, I call, it's going to be app based. I just have to say, okay, there's a leak in my apartment. Boom. I need a coffee maker. Boom. It's just, it's just, I need a Rolls Royce for three days. It's just right there. So, but these take time, but um, it's going to happen. I'm, I'm presuming it's going to take three to six months for this to all get together. The team is built. Uh, the the back end is working. We're working towards it. Every time there's a, this will be the part one. When there's any progress for the investors club, I'll make a part two. So this will be a separate series, the investors club. But thank you so much for all your support. Uh, it's very important for me to be 100% honest with you guys. This is what's happening. Um, Dubai is on fire. I think the next two years is where we all can make a lot of money. So let's take full advantage of this because post two to three years, it's going to be, there's no more off plan. It's going to be a secondary market game. And then when the supply cuts off, that's when demand increases, prices increase. So the next two years, it's an upward, it's a bullish curve. We have an operage, or we have an opportunity to make some serious money. So uh, thank you for watching guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for all the support. Mohammed Zohib, Experience Realty.